Good morning grade 3s. I hope you are doing very well and you've had a lovely morning so far or a lovely day. Now welcome back to Worksheet Cloud and welcome to our grade 3 English lesson for today. If you have any questions throughout the lesson, you can always just ask mommy or daddy to send an email to grade 3 at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. If this is the first time that you are watching a lesson with us, my name is Teacher Taryn and we are going to do some Grade 3 English Home Language today. We are going to do some phonics. Now these are the sounds that we are going to learn together today. They sound like this. R, er, er, or, and er. Now some of those sounds sound very similar but they don't look the same. And if you've already done these sounds at school, or you might have done it last year, we are now going to revise all these sounds together so that we don't get confused between the ones that sound similar. Now this makes it a little bit difficult for us to remember how to spell these words because they sound the same, but they don't look the same. So we are going to read a story together. You are just going to look and listen to what is happening. And while the story is going on, you are going to listen and see if you can see any words with those sounds in it that we just spoke about. So, Farmer Mark lives on his farm. His little puppy, Lily, loves to bark all day in their front garden. Farmer Mark loves to drive around on the farm on his tractor. At the end of the day, he will always park it in his red barn. Every Saturday, he takes his produce in his green car to the market. At night, Farmer Mark and Lily love to stand in the front garden and as it gets dark they look to see how many stars they can find. Last week Farmer Mark and Lily were busy with their usual tasks on the farm. He called her to come and help him feed the herd of cows. In a stern voice, he said to her, Lily, where were you? You were supposed to be helping me. Lily was too busy with other things. She was chasing a bird. And she was playing in the dirt. This is the third time you have run off on your own today, said Farmer Mark. He had to be firm with Lily, and he told her that she has to listen the first time he speaks to her. On the farm next door lives a little girl. Her favourite new outfit is a white shirt and denim dungarees. She greeted Farmer Mark when her family moved in and said, Good morning, sir. And here comes Farmer Mark. My name is Kirsten. Farmer Mark and Lily have the same routine every day. First thing in the morning, they drive to the furthest corner of the farm. He takes his pitchfork with him because he needs to form hay bales for the farm. Then he cuts the grass quite short before the storm clouds roll in. In the evening, he plays with Lily and throws her ball to her. He always warns her 
not to turn around too quickly because she might hurt herself. And at the end of a long, busy day, they curl up in front of the fireplace and watch the logs burn in the fire. Now, I hope that you've been listening to some of these sounds because we are going to have a look at some of the sounds and the words that were in the story. Mark. Now, that was the name of our character, Farmer Mark. Now, the first letter of Mark, capital M, is a capital because that is his name. Farm. Bark. Garden. Park. Car. Market. Dark. Now, spark is our first word that isn't in the story. And spark could just mean when we see electricity that sparks or like a lightning bolt that sparks. Sharp. Now this is something that your pencil needs to be. It needs to be very sharp when you write with it. A card. That could be a birthday card or a Christmas card or even a Mother's Day card that you might have made for mom. A chart. Shark. Now our first er sound has an er in it. So let's see which words have this er sound. Her. Heard. Fern. Stern. Were. Turn. Now fern wasn't in our story and that is a type of plant. Term is the word that we use for a distance of time or a length of time. And we have a first term at school or a second term and we have four terms in a year. Germ. Now this is something that we need to wash off and we don't want it because then we might get sick. This is our second er sound, the I R. It sounds similar to the last one, but it looks different. So let's see it in a word. Bird. Dirt. Third. Firm. First. Now these were all words in our story. And girl. And shirt. Sir. And Kirsten was the name of the little girl that lived on the farm next door. Now her name also has a capital K because we call these proper nouns. They need a capital letter to say that they are the name of a person or a place. Fur. This is not the kind of fur that we see on an animal. This is the fur that is on the tree. We call it a fur tree. Or, this is our next sound. Morning. Corner. Fork. Now, fork wasn't in our story, but we had the word pitch fork. Form. Short. Storm. Fall. This word wasn't in our story either, but this is an easy word that we would have learned in grade one already. Sport. Now, sport is a game that we play with teams against each other. And you might play sport at school, or we could watch sport on TV. Horn. This could be the horn of an animal, like a rhino horn. But it could also be a noise that you could make. Born. Thorn. North. This is a direction on a map. Order. Story, like the story that you just listened to. Pork. Pork is the name that we give meat that comes from a pig. Now this is our last er sound. It sounds similar, but it looks different. Church. Now this word wasn't in our story, but can you see that it has the ch, the er, 
and the ch sound to make church. Curl, burn, fur. Now this is the fur that we find on an animal. Hurt, surf. We can do this in the ocean with a surfboard. Turn, burst. Burst means when something splits open very quickly. Now we're going to try and write some sentences with these words that we saw in the story. Because it doesn't help that we can spell the words on their own, but when we write them in a sentence, we spell them incorrectly. So, our first sentence is the word, My favourite sport is hockey. So, where have I used the word that came from our sounds we are learning? We are learning the OR sport. Now, this little boy is here with his pencil because he wants to remind us that there are certain things that need to be in a sentence. We need the word that we are writing, that we learned about, I've put in color so we can find it. But we need a capital letter at the beginning of our sentence. And we need a full stop at the end of our sentence. We can also use a question mark if our sentence is a question. Or we can use an exclamation mark if we are saying something excitedly or if we are shouting something or exclaiming something. Now our capital letter at the beginning of the sentence is green because on a traffic light, green means that we can go. That is the same about our sentence. Our capital letter says... We may start reading the sentence, and by the time we get to the end of the sentence, which is red, it's red because on a traffic light, red means stop. So our full stop says, now you may stop reading and take a breath and get ready for the next sentence to start. So we are going to write another sentence. The balloon burst as I threw it. So which word here is the word that we learned or the sound we learned about today? We learned about burst. So burst is in color so we can find it. But remember that this little boy is here to remind us what do we need in a sentence? A capital letter and a full stop. When else can we use a capital letter? We can use a capital letter in the middle of a sentence if the word is a name. Like we heard about Farmer Mark or Kirsten. And if I write Farmer Mark in a sentence, the F will also be a capital. Farmer Mark is his whole name. So if you write your teacher's name, you are going to write Miss or Mrs or Mr and their surname. And that first word will also have a capital letter. So a capital M for Mrs or Miss and a capital M for Mr. And then their surname will also be a capital letter because that is their whole name. Let's look at another sentence. We have, we get a report card at the end of the term. So we have a capital letter at the beginning of our sentence and a full stop at the end of our sentence. And now we've used two different words from two different sounds that we learned today. A card the R sound, and we have the word term, the R sound. So we've used two words in one sentence. Now, grade threes, you can try and write some sentences with your own words from the story. You can watch the story again and try and find some words that you would like to write a sentence about. Remember that your sentence needs to start with a capital letter and it needs to end with an either a full stop or an exclamation mark, or a question mark if you are asking something. So thank you for watching today, Grade 3s. I hope you learned something new during that story, and that you took note of all those different sounds, that you can practice spelling them, so when you use those words, you can spell them the correct way. And this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. I hope you have a lovely afternoon further. Until the next time I see you and we can learn together again. Goodbye, great please.